With the rise of ChatGPT, everyone is talking about which jobs will be next to be replaced by AI, and in this video we'll discuss whether accountancy is at risk. We'll go through some examples of how, what AI is currently doing in accountancy, how AI currently performs on accountancy exams, and then discuss how AI and humans can work together in the future to best fulfil the role of the finance function. Spoiler alert, but it's our view that AI does not represent an existential threat to the accountancy profession, but does in fact provide a great opportunity for accountants to do more work that requires human intuition and get rid of some of the tasks that might be a bit more boring. So hopefully it's not all bad news. Let's start with some more common uses of AI in accountancy today. So firstly, AI can be really helpful for processing invoices and transactions. AI is capable of looking at a scanned image of an invoice and being able to process that transaction and load it onto a system accurately, which is a big help to accountants. Secondly, AI can help with procurement. AI is able to track the prices of suppliers in real time, saving work for accountants to manually track it every so often. And finally, AI is able to analyse data. AI is capable of taking a financial statement and pulling out the relevant parts of it, as well as being able to process percentage changes and things like that, which would be quite helpful and save accountants time. Now let's look at how AI could be used in the future. AI could be really helpful for things like audit. Currently, accountants have to rely on sampling to give a small amount of the data from which you can make assumptions about what the company is doing in general. However, AI will be able to take a whole set of data and analyse it to ensure that a company is thoroughly audited and that all the results are as accurate as possible. Secondly, through the use of machine learning, AI will be capable of coding accounting entries. This will be really helpful as AI was able to take a set of data and see how it is generally processed and then do that itself. Thirdly, AI will be able to help with data analytics through the use of deep learning. AI will be able to run through millions of pieces of data and form conclusions based on them and this is more than humans could ever do as we can only realistically look at certain amounts of data at one time without overloading our brains and so AI could be helpful in helping accountants do these more difficult tasks. Fourthly we have predictions. AI will be able to look at past data and make predictions for future performance based on them which will be really helpful for performance management. Fifth we have fraud identification. AI will be able to look at how uh, transactions are generally made, and if there's outstanding or strange ones, it will be able to flag these up so that they have to be verified. This is already used by banks. For example, if you're normally quite frugal and one day it says that your card has spent two million in Las Vegas, it's probably going to flag this up as potential fraud and freeze your card. And finally, we have speed. AI is just capable of doing things much, much faster than humans and can provide instantaneous results. This means if your boss, if someone's boss asked in the future um, to produce a report on performance in a certain division, uh, it could just ask an AI and this could output the results as quickly as possible and analyze them in a way that a boss could understand. So could an AI become an accountant in the foreseeable future? I say foreseeable because we have no clue how AI could progress in the future and it could in fact do every human task in the next hundred years for all we know. Um, but for the foreseeable future, according to the ICAEW report, AI and Accountancy, AI possesses a very different type of intelligence to human beings. This means that it thinks about things in a more repetitive, structured way. For example, AI will be very good at performing repetitive tasks that it can do over and over again and get better at, but it's not as good at dealing with more ad hoc things as they come up, and it's not as good at creative thinking. Secondly, advice and communication is an important role in an accountant, and it's not as clear whether AI would be as good at this. For example, if your boss did need that report on performance in a certain division, it could ask you and communicate about what that division does, etc., and you'd have a better chance of understanding it than an AI would at the moment. Thirdly, we have ethical judgment. Ethics are a huge part of accountancy, for example, with SEMA's ethical principles or ACCA's ethics um, module, um, and ethical judgment is not something that AI is as good at at the moment. Oh, it's something that humans always aren't as good at themselves, so that's one for the future. And um, then we've got current results. So um, different institutions like the American Association of Accountants have done tests on AI, and it finds that the average score of ChatGPT on accounting exams was 47.4, whereas the average score for a human student was 76%. 
This shows that at the moment AI is currently lagging a fair bit behind humans and it will be some time before AI can be employed to fulfill the role of accountant in any way, so you don't need to worry for now. So the final slide will be on collaboration. Some roles will definitely be at risk, there's no way of lying about that. For example, bookkeeping, that's probably going to go out of business in the next few years as AI will be able to perform those tasks. However, according to the ICAEW report, the role of an accountant will change as a result. AI will be able to perform some of the more low-level tasks and free up accountants to do some of the more high-level tasks that require more creative thinking. This will mean that accountants need to be able to utilise technology to the best they can. There's no point resisting this tide as it is coming, and the best thing to do is use it as best as possible to make your job easier and help your company be more productive. This means you could be a digital advocate in your company, encouraging people to learn more about AI and finding out how it can be best be used to stay ahead of the competition. Hopefully that's helped inform you on the state of AI and accountancy. It's a time where a lot of things are changing and that can be quite scary, but it's important to recognise that for accountants, it seems like AI is going to take some of the more boring tasks and free accountants up to do the more interesting stuff. The best way to approach it at the moment is to make sure you're informed about what's going on and understand the things that are happening in the industry. This will help make sense of any changes that happen within your organisation and prepare you for future ones. That's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And if you have any thoughts yourself about what's happening with accountancy or just AI in general, leave them in the comments below. Thanks and we'll see you in the next video.